Hi friends, in this video I will show you how to assign um, a different color to one measure uh, among the multiple measures present in the view. So here we have we are using measure values and measure names to show uh, three measures in a single view. So if I write a calculation to highlight the profit, let's see what happens. So first let me create a calculation KPI profit. If sum of profit is less than 20k then assign 1 else if sum of profit greater than or equal to 20k and sum of profit less than 30k then assign 2 else assign 3 and Okay, click OK. Now if I drag this and drop on the color, so right click and change it discrete. So if you see, um, the condition is working fine. Um, it's assigning um, 20k values less than 20k. It's assigning um, one color and if it's greater than 20k, it's giving another color. If it's greater than 30k, it's giving another color. That is fine, but this color is applying to all the measures present in this view so uh, you need to rebuild this uh, view in order to apply a single color to apply one color to single measure okay so let me create another sheet so drag order date to the columns and sorry to the rows and right click choose month okay now uh, we'll create some dummy calculations for profit average of zero we have the error saying the field name already exists just give some space so that we can uh, use the same name and right click sorry right click create calculated field and you now uh, sales just some dummy measure then click ok create another calculated field for quantity quantity average of zero okay now okay. so now let me drag these uh, dummy measures to the columns uh, first drag profit and next we need sales and next we need quantity okay now we have uh, three different marks cards present in the marks shelf here okay now we can assign um, the different colors to different uh, measure okay first let me drag a profit uh, to the text and change the mark type to text do the same steps for sales and quantity Okay, now if I drag the KPI profit and change it to discrete, you can see the color is assigned only to the profit measure. So now let me help you formatting this sheet. So to format, uh, right click, choose format, go to the lines and select none from the zero lines and we have the column divider grid line and choose none you know that uh, small line is gone okay now you can double click and choose tick marks none and then close double click Go to tick marks and choose none. Repeat the same steps for quantity. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button.